Hello, welcome to Ellie Mia Toys. Today we have got the Darlington family waiting here excitedly, standing actually quite too close to the camera, but yes, they are very excited because today we are going to simify them. We are going to turn them into Sims in Sims 4. So let's open up the cast, create a Sim, and I have already got five base sims here to use for Sophie, Henry, Alex, Violet and Harry. We're going to start with Sophie and we've got so many choices to make here. We're going to try and get their personalities, tie it all in with their new sims. And if this goes really well, we should make a house for them and maybe do some let's plays with them as well. That would be really fun to see what the triplets get up to. So we'll start with Sophie, who's currently called Tiffany McWilliams. So let's uh, adapt that. So we need Sophie, nice and easy, Darlington for her last name and aspirations. So let me see, she is a vet. So I think she would be a friend of the animals, definitely much a lover of the animals. What about for these three other aspirations? Are we going to, are we going to just make them kind of all animal related, maybe? Do we know much else about Sophie? We kind of don't, do we? Does she love the outdoors? <sighs> she... <laughs> just not sure i think we might just make her a cat lover and a dog lover so we'll click in cat lover <laughs> yeah she's very excited about that and dog lover also excited about that and for her third aspiration or trait sorry we're going to maybe well, let's make her family oriented because she is already family oriented she's got triplets uh, surprise triplets yes but she has got a big family uh -huh. now Nobody's and that is not annoyed. even a picture of her family, but she loves them anyway. Okay, traits are done, aspirations are chosen. Let's get started making her look like Sophie. Now, I really liked her face. I think the face of this sim works really well for what I imagine Sophie looks like. So now we need some blue eyes and we are going to need, the rest looks good. We're going to need to find this hairstyle. So with across, just above the eyebrows, bangs, dark brown, I think. Let's... Let's see, yes, I think that's gonna be the right color. So, oh, like this, except long. Oh, there we go, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now, her outfit is a little bit too, it's just a bit, it, it's a bit mumsy. So let's make it just a little bit more stylish because, no, that's not stylish. That's a hospital gown with rubber duckies on it. Gardening, oh, we might use that for, uh, we might use that for Henry because he loves gardening. Uh, let's find something oh. just, just, Nice, really, really nice. Oh, that's really cute. What options are in that? Oh, I like this. I like this for lots of things, but I don't think that this is really Sophie. So let's keep looking. Pantsuit is Sophie. I think maybe for more formal stuff, not for her everyday stuff. She could be the avocado bear. No, all right. Maybe this one. That looks nice and comfy, but still stylish. Oh, actually, that one's pretty close to perfect. Let's see what different choices we've got. I don't like any of them. Let's keep going. Let's go. Oh, that one's too short. There are all these cool mm. ones from the new update. That one is just a little bit not Sophie. But let's see what else we have got. Especially oh. here from the Get Famous pack. There's lots of cute new outfits here that I think would suit Sophie, but we need to find one that's more everyday. Loving the pantsuits. I really think, oh, I like that. Oh, no, this, 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 this is perfect. What other color options mm. have we got here? Let me see. So her color schemes are kind of purple and blue. Uh, maybe, oh, I think we might just have to go with this one, though it's, Oh, it just looks so cute though. All right, so let's see if we can find some little sandals. There are sandals here. I know there's little sandals here that have got ankle straps and that's gonna work. No, not those ones. Where are they? We'll just click into the sandals. These ones. She looks cute. I want her to be my mum. She looks just adorable. Perfect. She's perfect. Okay, so this is Sophie's everyday mm. outfit. Let's see what she's going to wear for her formal wear. Love this hairstyle. Oh, she looks so gorgeous. Lipstick might be a little bit dark, do you think? Let me see. Let's go and have a look at the lipstick and see whether it's a bit... No, no. Uh, okay, yep, all right. We'll... Yeah, we'll stick with the lipstick we had. Earrings, we'll fiddle with the earrings in a moment when we have decided, decided what she's actually going to wear. So let me see. 
Oh, you know what? There are so many gorgeous options here that I think Sophie will look just beautifully in, but we're gonna go full formal. Big, sleek gown. That one looks lovely. I wonder if this one's in shades of blue, uh, but it's not two colors. Uh, that's a bit too florally. Maybe, oh, it's Audrey Hepburn. I don't think that's Sophie's style. That one's definitely not Sophie's style. That's absolutely stunning. Oh, I think she could totally pull that off. What other colors have we got? I love her in red. I think she looks just gorgeous in red. But let me see, I think this, this is just a gorgeous new outfit from the Get Famous pack. And yeah. She, yeah, she looks gorgeous in red. So let's stick with the red. She looks so elegant. And we'll find the new earrings also that are in the Get Famous pack. And we will see if they're in red. Ah, yes, they are. Perfect. Oh, she's perfect. Okay. Oh, wow, Sophie. I think I'm a little mm. bit in love with Sophie. I think she's just so, so divine. Okay, Sophie, what do we got next? Next, we have got sportswear. Okay, I have absolutely almost negative interest in sportswear, but <laughs> kind of you put it on to sweat into. But let's put her hair up so that she's not too hot. I know there's a high ponytail here with bangs. Also from the new Get Famous pack, it's just brought in a whole heap of wonderful options, especially for Sophie. So let me see, let's just choose maybe, maybe a sloppy joe, nice comfy pullover top for her to go jogging in, do her exercise in, sweat in, that's perfect. Green's lovely too. She's getting all these jewel colors, like the deep red and the deep blue and the deep green, and they really suit her. All right, that will do for that outfit. Let's go to sleepwear. That's a really, really cute little outfit. Let's see if she's got some, uh, some, some really cute little animal pants. That's really nice. And we'll just give her back her normal hair because she doesn't need special, like, like she would not have that hair. She couldn't do that hairstyle with her current hair that she's got. That's really cute. <laughs> Oh, look, see, she said, I look really cute. And she does, she was absolutely right. Party wear, oh, pantsuit's great, hairstyle's wrong. Let me see, oh, I want that, uh, there, there is a high ponytail, but with her fringe off her face, oh, I don't think that would be really her. Where's the high ponytail? Just clicking on random stuff now. That looks hmm. very elegant. That looks like a work do though. We're partying, let's find a, the high ponytail. Come on, I know it's here somewhere. Where are you? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I just had to check this out though, because this is one of the new hairstyles and this is totally wrong, but <laughs> it's really cute. Oh, but really totally wrong. That's also wrong. Come on, high ponytail. I know you're here somewhere. Oh, that looks lovely though. Maybe that. Oh, that also looks very, very elegant. Sophie's just, there we go. Sophie's just elegant to the max. Do like her pantsuit. Let me see. Let me see, uh, maybe this one though. This one's a little bit more party. She could go to barbecue yeah. in that. She could, she could go anywhere in that. She could go to the club in that. She looks gorgeous. Just need to decide what pattern to have on it. Maybe this one. And I do like the earrings to go with it. Her makeup is perfect. She's perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, all right, lovely. She looks lovely. Let's see what we've got next. We are doing swimwear now. And swimwear is also kind of uninspiring. Let's see. Uh, maybe this one with the palm trees on it. Let's see what colors. There's a purple and bluey one here. Where is it? Oh, there we go. No, purple and fuchsia. That's perfect. That's good. That's really, oh, that's very cute. She could probably need to put on lots of sunscreen with that one, but oh goodness, what is this outfit? She cannot wear this for hot weather. Right, first up, let's put her hair up. And I love, love, love this cute hairstyle with a little scarf tied in a bow. And I totally think that Sophie would wear it. I think that's not, that's not it, but that, she would also wear that too. I just love the bangs across her forehead. And it's not that one. This one, this one, isn't that adorable? Isn't that just adorable? Okay, uh, we definitely need to do something about this outfit because it is tragic. Let's start with the skirt. I like the skirt. I know this comes in different options. There are flower ones. And I really do think that Sophie likes these floral options. We need now a reasonably simple shirt to go with it. Not that one. 
and something nice and cool to wear because this is the hot weather outfit. That looks nice. What colours have we got there? That would do okay, but I'd like a bit more of a contrasting colour. Oh, that's cute too. So much cute dressing, Sophie. is so much fun. Oh, that. Oh, no, hold on. This one. This one. Oh, I just can't decide what colours to do it in, though. Maybe. Oh, look, that will do nicely. Now, she cannot possibly, cannot possibly be keeping on this necklace in silver because it doesn't match her hairband. So let's turn that into gold. There we go. Now let's deal with these flip-flops, shall we? Let me see. If she has to run after the triplets, she's going to need sandals on. She'll trip over her flip-flops. So cute little sandals. She looks perfect. Now for, oh my goodness, <laughs> what is this outfit? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Yes, hmm, indeed. Cold weather outfit. Let's rug her up nice and warm because if she's got three kids, she's going to be spending a lot of time outside <laughs> with the kids in the snow. And let me see, I really would like a skirt option with some leggings, but I really don't know which skirt. I think this one will do. Mm. And then there's the kitty leggings, which I love so much. Where are they? They're the galaxy ones. There they are! Now, which ones are going to match the colours that we've already chosen with the red jacket and the yellow oh. skirt? There's puppies on that one. Uh, none of these are really going very well. They don't really tie in well. That one's cute. Oh, maybe if I change her boots, nice warm Ugg boots, if I change them then the other colours might tie in a bit better. <laughs> I'm just fiddling with these colours and hoping I can get them all to match a little bit better. Because I like the outfit. It's just a matter of finding colours that go together with the options that we're given. This one is interesting. Let's see. Maybe? Mm. Okay, blue goes with everything. Let's go with that. And the leggings. The leggings are blue too. Yeah, all right, good. That's pretty neutral. And she's got puppies on her tights and she just looks really, really cute. Okay, Sophie is done. <laughs> let's go to Henry. This is far too funky looking to be Henry. So let's uh, fix him up first up. Let's say Henry Darlington. His aspirations are going to be, well, his wife is a lover of animals. He can be uh, nature or family oriented. Let's make him an outdoor enthusiast. And he is going to be cheerful, definitely. Oh. And he's a goofball. <laughs> In that room. <laughs> yeah. Oh, who bless him? <laughs> yeah, he's totally going to tell all of the dad jokes. So goofball for him. And we should we make him family oriented as well? I think we will. <sighs> Gear Janubu. See, he uh -oh. loves that family photo too, even though it's also still not a picture of his actual family. All right, we've got our reference photo here of Henry and his eyes are light blue. So let's put them in light blue. I'm trying to decide between those two colors. His hair, I don't want, I don't want anything too flat. Will that do? Well, that's, that's kind of a bit too fluffy. That's a bit too trendy. That's too flat. Let's just kind of find some dad hair. That one is probably a bit too trendy, but l let's go with that. Oh, actually that's pretty cute too. That works all right. Okay, now we're going back. Okay, so this outfit has got to go and we're gonna see if we can find a red stripy t-shirt because I know there is one here so we can match his Lego mini doll. Just a matter of finding it. Come on Red, there he is, there it is. Red stripy dad t-shirt and we'll just put some jeans on him. He's gonna be really really comfy. Where's some comfy jeans for Henry? That looks all right. He looks comfy there. Make him a bit darker and he's wearing loafers. He's totally dressed as a comfy dad. How did I forget to color his hair? How did that even happen? I was just so distracted by his outfit. So he's actually a bit of a ginger because I tried all these lighter colors and that's the one, that's the one that actually works. That's too dark. So this is it. Mm -hmm. This is Henry's casual outfit, his daytime outfit. Oh. For formal wear, let's find him something just a little bit daggy, which, uh, which he thinks is really cool uh, and 
<laughs> because Ooh. he's a dad and he used to wear it in the 80s. Let's go with that. That he basically hasn't moved on with his fashion sense from the 80s. So there must be a shiny oh. suit here somewhere. You know, something with like, sh maybe there must, I know there's a waistcoat that's shiny. <gasps> this, look at this. This is all shiny and glimmery. He loves his shiny suits. <laughs> Oh, that's perfect. Dan's got a red undershirt. Let's make his um, pants not too bad. And his shoes are also shiny. He's got gold shiny oh. shoes. We can make them red. No, let's stick with gold. <laughs> oh, Henry. Henry, you are covered mm. in shiny. Look, look at the glimmer on that. <laughs> okay, Henry's ready oh. for formal wear with his shiny vest and his shiny gold shoes. Ah, uh, sportswear. Let's just find something comfy for him to wear. We've got some stripes again. Awesome. We can do red stripes. Let's find some little sports pants mm. and some joggers. <sighs> and we'll... Ah, uh, yep. They're a little bit dorky too. Good work, Henry. And some sleepwear. Oh, let me see. This t-shirt will do fine, I think. And we're going to find... No, not boxer shorts. <laughs> Even though I totally think he wants to wear t boxer shorts because once again, <laughs> he's being a bit daggy. Uh, let's find some of these checkered jammy pants for him. That's really cute. And he would totally wear slippers. He's wearing dad slippers. Look at that. Ah, oh. oh, no, let's go. <laughs> let's go on. Let's take his little dad slippers and let's move on to his party outfit. Now, what are we going to do for Henry for a party outfit? What would he do? wear what would he want to wear maybe maybe this one no, definitely not that oh look it's a grandpa cardigan i don't think he's oh yeah okay i don't think he's quite ready for a grandpa cardigan maybe just this nice easy slim fit stripy shirt yeah let's do that and we'll give him some nice yeah some nice matching pants too Oh, no, you can't have the yellow pants. All right, you can wear the yellow pants. That's fine. And he's got his cute little high top Dunlops down there. And hold on, is he wearing no socks? You cannot be wearing no socks. Let me find you some socks. It is icky to wear the shoes without socks. Everything gets absolutely stinky. Let's find some of these with these Argyle. No, I can't see the patterns. All right, we're going to give him stripy or crazy socks underneath. And even though we can't see it, he's wearing spotty blue socks underneath those pants <laughs> okay swimwear uh yeah any of these let's make let's make them the loudest board shorts that you've ever seen and for sunglasses he's actually wearing violet sunglasses that he accidentally picked up and didn't realize that they weren't his sunglasses <laughs> oh there we go harry's ready for swimming hot weather wear i really I really think that that looks okay. I love his crab shirt. We'll see what pants go with it. Oh, there's so many cute options in here. These are adorable, these pants. And he's wearing some little loafers here, some little boat shoes. And they'll do nicely too, I think. We'll just see what color to choose. Looks good. And he's gonna have a hat because he likes to spend lots of time out in the garden. So he's going to have this hat, nice big broad brimmed Akubra ready to go out and tend his marigolds because he has a marigold garden do you remember that around the pool so there we go henry is almost ready we just need to give him some some winter clothes he needs a beanie he needs he needs this jumper he definitely needs this jumper and some nice warm pants cargo pants do you think he's gonna need all those extra pockets to put all the stuff in for the kids Maybe, um, we, but hold on, the boots don't go on the outside. I want pants where the boots are going to go on the outside. That'll do. That's a little bit, a little bit too stylish for Henry, I think. Are those formal pants? Ah, doesn't matter. All right, I think Henry is ready. <laughs> Henry looks so cute in his winter gear. Let's put him back in his everyday gear and let's move on to... Well, oh, actually, why don't we just try mixing the genetics? So play with genetics. We're going to make Henry's the dad, obviously. Sophie is the mum. We're going to create their child. So we want a girl child and we're going to make her a toddler. So this is what Violet actually should look genetically coming from Henry and Sophie. That's pretty cute. Let's delete the one that I, that I decided we might use as a base Violet before, before we change it all up. 
Let's use their new genetically created daughter. Here's our reference picture of Violet. And Violet that we made in the Lego toddler mini dolls has got green eyes, which is actually genetically impossible with two parents with blue eyes. But anywho, we're going to just do that anyway. She's got green eyes, bright green eyes. She needs, she needs to have some freckles little freckles over her nose and her hair actually is a really good color so we just need to find some pigtails and I really like these I think they're cute these ones are I just don't think they suit her as much I think these ones are cuter I think they're cute little violet pigtails I love 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 dressing up the toddlers their outfits are so cute except they're so small on the screen so let me see let's pull her up nice and big so we can see her outfits <laughs> While we're going, we'll magnify Violet. I love this kitty outfit. And that looks nothing like what she's actually wearing in her Lego version, but it's just so adorable. And it's got stripes, so let's just say we're tying in the stripes. She looks so cute. All right, next up, formal wear. She's going to have just the cutest little dress, I think, for formal wear. Let's see, not too formal though, not that taffeta sparkly one. Let's go with this one, see what options we got. Uh, this one, this one, this is not this one. This one's beautiful. That's gorgeous. Let's find some little matching toddler shoes. So many little toddler shoes. She's so cute. Let's see what jammies she's going to have. Let's choose this full body oh, jumpsuits. They're really adorable. Uh, uh, she doesn't have to wear purple. <gasps> green. She's totally choosing the green dinosaur one. How come there are no slippers for the toddlers or little socks? They need socks. Okay. Um, let me see for party wear. She's already got the cool dude sunglasses on. Let's choose her a little party dress. And she has already got the cutest socks on. I just like... Uh, let me see. Let me see. We've got purple sunglasses and <laughs> she's having just such a good time let's make some little pink shoes and her socks are going to need to be stripy too because you can't just have boring gray socks it's just awful okay uh let me see swimwear cute little swimmers these are lovely i love these little pastel chevrons oh, we're flying along now and for <laughs> for hot weather gear she needs overalls i love the overalls Let's see how the overalls look. Uh, or or maybe I like the full one-piece jumpsuits too. I think they're really adorable. I just love toddlers in dyed overalls. They just look so cute. This will do very, very well, I think. Let me find these and we're going to put some matching sandals on and take her socks off because it's too hot. Too hot for socks with sandals. She's so cute. And for, for winter... She doesn't need glasses. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Oh, the elephant one is really cute. Pants, something that matches. And this, we're going to go with the gumboots. I'm just going to have to decide which colours I like. Maybe the yellow ones. I really love the yellow ones. Ah, Violet, you are so adorable. Let's put you back in your everyday outfit. She is so cute. Right, Violet Darlington. She only gets to choose one trait and she's going to be fussy, silly, wild. I think I'm going to make her a charmer. I think she is the charming one out of the three. <laughs> yes, I think she is. Okay, little charmer Violet. You're ready. Let's get one of your brothers ready. So this little dude called Victor is now going to be Harry. Harry Darlington will choose his trait first. Harry is going to be, no, not inquisitive. He's going to be wild. He is the nuts one. So Harry is going to need, where's my reference picture? Here we go. We need, oh, well, he's already got freckles, but he's actually got uh, amber eyes, like really light brown eyes, which is once again, genetically impossible with two parents with blue eyes. But anywho, uh, we are going to need Yes, this colour hair and we want it to be slightly scruffy but there aren't many options here for toddlers and and his brother Alex has got scruffier hair so that one's pretty good. Maybe this one? Oh, bald. He could be bald. That one's terrible. Um, oh, maybe that one. We're going to say that he's like 
You're being uber trendy. Okay, let's choose him an everyday outfit. Let's get him up close. He is totally going to be wearing a cape. He is always wearing his cape shirt, loves it. He flies around being wild and nuts and jumping on his brother and his sister. That one looks really good. I think all that goes well. Doesn't really matter when you're a toddler, does it? <laughs> formal way. Oh, formal way. Let's give him a cute little tuxedo. Where is it? <laughs> look, look at this. This is so adorable. So a tuxedo, actually not a tuxedo, a vest with a tie and the pants. We might give Alex the little tiny, the little shorts tuxedo because it's just adorable. <laughs> That's cute. He really does look cute. Love his little spotty socks. Now for no, you can't wear that for pajamas because Violet's already wearing that. We'll get confused. So you can have, you can choose basically anything else you want. Let's choose something bright and colourful and a <laughs> cheeky monster yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that one. And party wear. Hmm, maybe something a bit funky for uh, for, for Henry. Oh, for Harry. <laughs> I'm getting them mixed up. That's a cute little top. Um, uh, you can have some, yeah, that's really nice. I really like to put lots of colours on these kids because they just look so adorable. You never get to be as adorable ever again as you are as a toddler. And for swimmers, there's a, there's a little little one suit here. And he can have the, get this one, no, no, the black one, yep. Black one with the little green fishies. Oh, he's looking so cute. You're looking very cute. And for hot weather, <laughs> that is so dorky and cute. Look at his shirt tucked so hard into his shorts. Let's give him, oh, the watermelon, the watermelon singlet. There's nothing more summery than a watermelon singlet. We'll find him some little bright colored pants too to go with it. Oh, he's adorable. And let's make his hat yellow. Well, hold on, no, it's not, is that gonna work? Uh. Yeah. There, yeah, 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 and he's already got yellow shoes. He's ready. Winter. Uh, hmm. Oh, I like the bear jacket. In fact, you know what? He's pretty much ready. I think that looks pretty good. Let's give him some gloves so he doesn't get frostbite on his little fingers, because he's gonna be totally reckless out there in the yeah in the in the snow, and he's not gonna know to come in when his fingers get too cold. So there we go. Look, Harry's ready. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he is adorable. Right, let's turn Rick Madrigal into Alex. Yeah, listen to his little voice. He's the sweet one. So Alex is the sweet one. He's yeah. the angelic. He, yeah, look at his halo. He is so cute, but we must do something about that hair. Uh, everything else looks pretty good. He's got blue eyes, so let's change that. He's already got freckles which is just so cute, but his hair is is quite sad. This one is how we're gonna need to go for his hair because that is the only one that's like just that little bit shaggy. Right, everyday clothes. What do you wanna wear, Alex? I think, I think this little outfit is so cute with all of the animals on it. Let's see what other options there are. Oh, that's so adorable. That's so cute. <laughs> oh, that'll do really nicely, I think. And his shoes. He is totally going to wear these rainbow shoes yeah. everywhere. They are his favourite thing. He never ever wants to take them off, including when he sleeps. He always wants to wear his rainbow shoes. Party clothes, I promised him that little tuxedo. <laughs> but let's do it in colour. Yeah, let's make it... Uh, let's make it yellow. Oh, with the blue bow tie. And I'm sorry, you can't wear your rainbow shoes. You're gonna have to wear little white shoes with yellow, oh, yellow on the top. That's really, really, really adorable. Oh, okay, pajamas. Uh, this looks pretty good. We just need to, we'll change over the patterns, I think. Maybe a singlet yeah. that has got, nice plain singlet. It's gonna have food stains on it soon enough anyway. And for his pants, thank you, little cars. All right. Uh, party wear. That is a, that, that's totally a party hat. I'm going to let him keep that. Uh, for a shirt, that's good. That one looks good. Let's choose a colour that goes nicely. <laughs> so he's been different shades of red and blue, but he loves, loves, loves his rainbow shows. Uh, he's so gorgeous. You're so gorgeous. 
so cute. You can't go swimming in your nappy. So let's see. Let's put you in these really dorky swimmers, which are just so dorky that they're cute. <laughs> and the red and stri the red and blue stripes are perfect. Hot weather. You're gonna need to put a shirt on, or you're gonna get sunburned. So oh, avocado shirt. I can't even say that. Avocado shirt. I do like to see what the other options are. The crazy frog. Fire trucks do dull. No, no, no. Let's go back to the avocado. And his little yellow shorts are actually they're pretty good. Let's try eh, green shorts. Yellow shorts. Ah, oh, yeah. And back to the rainbow shoes. Ah, oh, he's so cute. I love his obsession with his rainbow shoes. Oh, all right. Um, cold weather. You can't just wear a nappy in cold weather, especially not an alien nappy. This looks good. <gasps> Would yeah. you like to wear a Christmas tree outfit? That looks warm. No, he's going to wear the onesie all the time when it's cold. Let's choose something really cute for him. This little monster yeah. one. It's a different monster to his brothers. <laughs> There's so many cute little monster options. Well, that one's a good two one too. Let's go with that one. All right, I think Alex is just so adorable. We've got we've got all of them except we mustn't forget Tinker. So let's just really really quickly put Tinker in. She is black and white. So let's make her a tuxedo cat. We'll choose different. Which coloring option are we going to choose? Maybe yeah, that one. No, the third one. Third one. Third one will do. And. Tinker, Tinker, a member of the family. Shouldn't we put her in a costume? Does she need a toast head or a shark hat? <laughs> or is this just really for me to have fun? And a collar. She's going to need a collar, but maybe not. Uh, ah, taco cat. Oh, spotty cat. I just love these costumes. They are hilarious. Sushi cat. She appears to have fleas. Uh, or a t-shirt. Is this just being silly? Because I know Tinker is going to hate wearing a costume. Cats hate having anything on them. Let's just make a nice subtle collar and then we'll go and choose some of her traits. So I'm not going to make her aloof. I'm going to make her affectionate. She lives with a big family and frisky. Yeah, so she can oh, so she can always be running around and playful too. That would be nice. Playful, curious. Oh. Yeah, curious, so that she's always interested in what's going on. Tinker Darlington, the last member of our Darlington family. Oh my goodness me. Right, uh, let's make sure she's a she and our family's complete now. We need to make a house for them to live in and we might even do a let's play with the family. That would be so much fun. Make sure you let me know in the comments if you would like that to happen. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you check out some of my other videos and I will see you with a new one very soon. Thanks for watching.